Hi guys and welcome back. I know if you watch my videos and you've been a long time subscriber, you're not used to me talking through my Halloween videos, but I wanted to do something a little bit different with this look because why not? The look I'm gonna be doing today is from Milk1422, a very, very popular um, artist. The drawings on that Instagram page are just perfection, beautiful, so artistic. I've never done a look uh, by Milk1422, so I wanted to recreate one of the looks because it's just so beautiful. You've probably seen this look going around Instagram and I'm gonna jump on that train because it's so beautiful and different. This is the look right here. It's just absolutely stunning and I wanted to do this look. So this could be a great experience or a total disaster. So if you wanna see what happens, then keep on watching. This is my third cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> and I just made more. So as you can probably tell, I already have my base makeup on and I went in on my base makeup. I am cake face central right now and I am absolutely loving it. So as usual, I'm gonna bust out my Morphe James Charles palette. This is always my go-to Halloween palette just because you have so many color options in here. And I think I just want to go ahead and sketch out the little spider webs on the eyes with some eyeshadow because I do not want to go straight in with, say, a black eyeliner, or black cream paint, whatever I'm going to use because if I mess up, I'm screwed. I think I'm going to try and go in with this, uh, one of the big shades right in the middle right here. I'm going to start by... tracing here and then taking it up right above my crease. How did that happen? No. Great. Well, this is starting off fantastic. I'm just going to take this foundation brush and just pat over it and it just kind of erases it a little bit. This side is much better than this side, but that's what I'm going to go with <laughs> because I have spent far too long on this. Now I'm going to take a black eyeliner. Hoo wee. Okay, you guys, I had to go off camera and go in my bathroom in my big mirror and try to figure this out. Uh, <laughs> this is much more difficult than you would think. It really is. Or it's just me. It might just be a me thing, but it's difficult. And drinking three cups of coffee is not helping my situation. So now, oh boy, I gotta take the lines up. Oh, this is, my, this is gonna be a mess. Let's just try it, we ain't never gonna know. Looks great. <laughs> I don't, I don't know. So now we do a, uh, all the way up. Hmm. Okay. I might be saving this look. Maybe. It looks like a spider web, right? Can we just say this spider was drunk? <sighs> like, what are we doing here? I don't know what we're doing here yet. Can you like that? Sure. I feel like I'm holding my breath. 
Breathe, breathe, Christy, breathe. And I keep drinking coffee. It's a drunk spider. A drunk spider did this. Okay. Wow, wow, wow. Now I'm gonna take some black eyeshadow and just like in the picture, it's just very much shadow through here. So I'm just gonna take some right through here just to kind of meet up with the web. Kind of bring it into my brow a little bit. I'm actually gonna take some of that black eyeshadow underneath of my eye just to cover up some of that because it needs to be covered up. Still trying to figure out what to do up here. I might just take some black up here too because it needs it trying to just make it look better than what we got going on. What I really like this look is it has little diamonds in it. So y'all know I love my crystals. So to be able to add it to a Halloween look, I'm really excited about. So I'm gonna use the lid. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna use like the second smallest on this side so it goes small to big. I think I'm going to do the second smallest here and put some of these jewels in my spider webs. Ooh, just dropped a shit ton of them. I'm gonna take some NYX white liner, just little dots in certain places. I'm gonna take a line kind of in the middle of the eyeshadow and the spider web up here. Now I'm gonna move on to some contouring. Really hollow out these cheeks, kind of take the contour up higher than I usually would, just to give, you know, a Halloween cheek. Of course, everything with this look is dramatic. So it's heavy, it's dramatic. It's not how you would typically do your makeup. Halloween. I'm gonna take some white eyeshadow and I'm gonna use the Pure and Raw Beauty Christy collab. This palette is Insanity with Pigment, which is why I like it. And highlight some of my face here. And then I'm really gonna cut this cheek again to give a more Halloween vibe. This is the most pigmented white I have ever used, which is why I'm choosing this um, palette in the shadow. I'm going to pat a little bit of white on here, just like the tiniest bit. Still got to have blush. So I'm going to go in with the Morphe 9B blush palette and take one of these um, darker shades and add some blush. And of course, we need highlight. Of course, of course, of course. I'm gonna go in with the Anastasia and Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit and take Forever Lit. This is a really good white blinding highlight. Yeah. And we're going dramatic. The picture's really dramatic with the highlight on the nose. So that's what I'm gonna do. Big time on the lip here. And then I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and just kind of go over this a little bit. Just a little bit on my forehead. Because it's Halloween, we can get away with some crazy, crazy highlight. So I don't care to do it. 
Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Moving on to brows. I do feel like I want to keep red. So let's just really, really fluff the brows. That's what I want to do is really give them a dramatic, dramatic effect. What's really nice is I haven't plucked my brows probably since end of August. So to do a real crazy thick brow right now is perfect. I'm going to take that NYX liner again and just line my, uh, line this right here. Prepping for lashes. I'm also gonna take some underneath here. Just literally line it. And then I got these really pretty, they're pretty crazy actually, pretty crazy eyelashes. These are Halloween lashes that I got at my local drugstore. They're huge, huge eyelashes. So I'm going to pop these on real quick and I'm also going to use the bottom lashes from my last uh, makeup tutorial just to give some drama on my lower lashes and I'll be right back. Hey guys, so unfortunately the file got corrupted of me doing the lips and basically finishing this look, so I want to explain it the best I can. I did take the Jeffree Star Velour Liquid Lipstick in Red Rum to line my waterline. It is safe for the eyes. All of those Velour Liquid Lipsticks are safe for the eyes. And then I took some black cream paint and over lined my lips on my top lip and my bottom lip and then again took red rum to do a kind of an ombre effect on the lips and obviously I dragged the corners of my top lip out to match the picture and kind of give it this creepy clown vibe. And then for the fangs, I took the NYX white liquid eyeliner and drew the two teeth on my bottom lip and filled it in and then I used some eyelash glue in order to glue the little crystals on, I use the same crystals that I used in my web on my eyes, and that was it. It was really easy, but unfortunately there was nothing I can do, so I figured the voiceover will be okay. I hope I explained it well, but basically follow the picture and everything should come out okay. All right guys, so that is it for this makeup look. My battery died when I was finishing up the jewels. But all I did was tease the sh** in my hair and then pull it back and kind of pull it up, giving kind of like an Elvira or Amy Winehouse type of thing going on because I like big hair. I did this little spider situation on my um, neck here. This is actually from another picture that Milk1422 has created, so I thought it went with this look. So I put uh, a red little jewel there and then tried to draw some uh, spider legs coming out. I, I asked Chris, I was like, what's this look like to you? He's like a spider. I'm like, okay, good. At least he guessed that correctly. I'm so glad it all came together and all the work paid off because there's nothing worse than trying something out and then failing, but then again, that's what helps you grow. And if you don't challenge yourself, you're never gonna know if you can accomplish something or not. So for me, this has been an awesome Halloween uh, year with YouTube. And I've really tried to step up my game this year. I hope some of you have noticed that. Um, if I get a wild hair up my ass, I might do one more look. I have a couple looks in mind. Got the stuff for it. I just, need to get some motivation to do them, but if not, there's always next year. But that is it for this video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I will see you guys on my next one. Thanks for watching.